All right, we good. Let's go. Before the interview. That's right. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. That's right. We here on the show. What's up? It's your man Billy T, and I'm hanging with Mr. Cooper. What's, What's up, up my brother? brother? Good to see you, All Billy right. T. That's crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was to take, I was trying to take that watch off. But, boom, oh, that's open, see? That's, that's open. open right there. He was slipping. Hey, man. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you ever get tired of hearing that, Mr. Cooper? Mr. Never. Cooper. Never. You know why? Because I'm happy people call me Mr. Cooper. I'm happy to be recognized. Because they remember the show. Yeah, I don't mean, yeah. I mean I did a good job. Hey, Coop. Coop, Coop. I was in Africa. I remember I was in Africa. I was in uh, Durban, Africa, and uh, I stopped to take a leak on the side of the road, and I heard somebody say, Mr. Cooper! It was these dudes up on the mountain who had saw me. Uh -huh. and I said, come down. I said, how do you know it was me? Said, you're so tall. Yeah, everybody knows you're so you tall. by your head. <laughs> yeah, by your head. Oh, come on, people, we know you. So, bam. So, Man, so it's carried you a long way. I'm international. I go to Australia, Germany, whatever. I go overseas people know me. Can you imagine that people? Wow. No matter where you go, I'm in Australia at a little, you know, cafe, having a little cafe, a little bank, you know, training these little girls. Woo -woo. And, hey, Mr. Cooper, how you doing in Australia deep in the bush? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. Well, it's good to see you, man. Uh, what have you been up to, man? I'm selling socks. I'm selling socks. <laughs> you ain't even wearing no socks. That's right, brother. That's why I need to sell them. You know, I'm selling socks right now in Cooper socks. You know, come up to here. It like spandex for men to keep your knee tight. Get the knee tight. Um, you get older, you need a knee yeah. to be tight. And you know what I've been doing is working on myself. Which mm -hmm. are things we don't do just mm -hmm. to be funny, just to stay funny to me is 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 helpful in my world. I'm a depressive type guy, mm -hmm. so as long as I'm funny, I'm up. If mm -hmm. I'm not doing stand up or I, I'm down, so that's what I've been doing is keeping myself. Okay. You know, you know, I know my potential. I know what I can do. Mm -hmm. So that that's the main thing. So you don't stay bitter, uh, not stay bitter, or uh, become bitter, and uh, or become mad. So I'm just happy in life, working it. Now, when you were doing the show, did you take a break from stand up? Are you coming back to stand up? What's the status on you that? You know, I never really took a break from stand up, but I just went underground. You know, I felt after the show I wasn't funny, so I just did clubs. Okay. Just to become a comedian again, because okay. once I, you know, did Miss Cooper, I didn't do clubs. I didn't do that. You lose your edge a little bit. Yeah, you, you know, once you do one thing, the balance. That's the balance. A comedian, you know, you do, you know, these guys do movies and all this. You know, some of the great but comedians don't do stand up. Well, no, no, not like these guys. Oh, but okay. the great ones don't do stand up anymore. Like, right? like uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. Richard Pryor still do did stand up. He was the only one that did, still did stand up with his stars. Same time, right, same time. Right. He was the only one. Is it hard to get back into stand up after you've been away for a while? Yeah, it is. So it is. That's back. why I never, never leave it. Really that's why I'm here in Detroit. This little small room that's awesome because I can work every night. I can golf in the daytime, work every night, and keep my craft up and think of new material. So next time you guys see me, bam, I got new material. Okay. You know. Okay. And that's um, that's the key. That's the key. The key is creating new material, just like little things. Like remember that that. That grease your mother had on the back of the stove. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. That little, little baby grease. grease. You know, that that's comedy though. Because your mama cooked everything in that grease. Everything tastes like bacon. Mashed potato. Okay, like bacon. Good potato. Good potato. Good potato. Good potato. Yeah, that's fair. Right, right. They like bacon. Because your mama had that little goo. And she had fish bacon on the other, the other side. side. Right, right. Yeah, keep them well, separate. Yeah. Old school things like that. You know? Yeah. Now, uh, Mr. Cooper was such a big show. Uh, let's see, Holly Robinson and Pete. Little Raven Simone. Yeah, Raven Simone, and, Don uh, Lewis, and Nell, Lewis. Car Nell Carter. Nell Carter came through there. Yeah, we broke a lot of actors on that show. Um, Tyrese, Tyrese. Oh, First really? time he was on, ever on TV. Bang. Okay. Um, um, the little, uh, well, the young think. kid that was on there. Wasn't it a neighbor Marquise or something? Wilson. Yeah. First time. Oh, what's the, the young actress? I can't even think of her name. A pretty lady. And she started on there? Yeah, she started. So a lot of actresses okay. started on there. And then, yeah, you know. all of you had the kids in the school that have gone on. Yeah. Uh, well, what about Omar Gooding? Omar Gooding. Omar That's what I'm Gooding. trying to think Omar, of. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And he's still Incredible working. Act. He's still he's, working. He's uh, on a show on Bounce now. Yeah. So we come together. I love to bring all those guys back. Could you do that? Could you bring Mr. Cooper back? We can bring Mr. Cooper back, you know, if it's the right situation. It's something I did already, so you got to look at in life. You know, you did that. Do you want to better it? Do you want to go on and do it? Is it something you want to do? Do you do you want them to see you as another character? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see the drama that I have? Mm -hmm. You know, people don't understand that I'm, you know, I can go you can serious. Do, bring some drama, look, man. <laughs> I got your money, man. You, can't, talking, you know me, baby. You can't go serious, man. I can. See, people don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> people don't think that. That, that, that is a hard thing to crack if you do it's comedy. Not, it's it? not. 
comedians are the best actors. Okay. We know drama. Okay. You know, look at Robin Williams. I was going to say, Robin Williams, Robin Williams, Jim Carrey does yeah. a good job yeah, of crossing over. Go, you know, so it's yeah. just given what they look at you, you mm -hmm. know. You know, which, but, it, but the reboot come on and, you know, it, let's, Dude, let's that would see. be awesome, man. Yeah, I mean it was such a popular show. Everybody loved it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was fun, and we had a good time. And now, what I used to like was you. You would try to play basketball. You did play. I in still play college, ball, people. Right? I still did. Play you ever ball. go pro? You no, I never went pro. Why not, I did man? play. I did play for the Golden State Warriors. I'm the only actor who can ever say that they was on the NBA court. <laughs> only actor who can ever say they was on the NBA court and scored on for Charles real? Barkley. And Charles. <laughs> I scored on Charles Barkley. Excuse me. <laughs> Ain't no actor can ever say that. But what? What? I'm in the game. <laughs> Boom. So you still you still play a little bit? Yeah. And you play on. a little golf? I still play. Yeah, I play golf. Basketball players uh, are good golfers, aren't they? Some, some um, of them. Yeah, Steph Curry. They say Steph Curry is the. He's shooting a 72. So he could be 72. on the pro circuit. Yeah, he will be. That's yeah. crazy. Ray Allen. Ray Allen. Ray Allen's good. He's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's your era, Ray Allen. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. My era. No, my era. No, your era is Charles Barkley. No, your era. Your era is what you make your era. <laughs> my era is anything from music, from future to public enemy. So oh. my era is is all around. Okay. You have to immerse yourself into pop culture, not stay in the culture that you grew up in. Okay. That's why you see old brothers walking in the club with suits on. Where right. are you going? Right. Right. Business <laughs> feet. What? what are you doing? Skinny jeans and some Vans. I'm like, why? Did I? I'm older, but I dress you. There you go. Stay young. I know you're hot as hell in this room. People. I know that's right. We're going to wrap it up. It feel like we're in a sauna in here. It feel Ain't like no air in this room. I feel like I'm on the first 48 hours. And I, I feel like I should be doing it like this. Okay, we drop. Here we drop. Here we all. Man. Man. Anyway. <laughs> that is what they're doing. They crack so quick on 48 hours, don't they? They crack. They, they, crack. they admit they said that. Well, no, what happened was. Exactly. And as soon as they crack that, but I ain't do nothing. It was Johnny. It was later. Johnny and then, Okay, we got into the car, and then the mic, he pulled the trigger. And then the only thing I was doing, I was trying to get out the back. <laughs> and to turn it out. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Cooper, Mark Curry, thank you so much for hanging hey, out with us. Get me on the real Mark Curry on Instagram. There the you real go. Mark Curry. The real Mark Curry. Thank you, brother. I thank appreciate you, brother. your time, appreciate man. It. Thank you very All much. All right. <laughs> 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 Boom, boom, boom.